Hi, my name is Bob Brooks, host of the Prudent Money Radio Show. I want to take just a few minutes today and talk to you a little bit about what's happening with interest rates and what that might mean for bonds and for those of you invested in bond funds. First of all, let me go through some statistics. And this is something that is is a little bit alarming as you see what has happened over the past three years. A lot of investor money has flowed out of stocks and out of stock funds straight into bonds and bond, and bond funds. In 2009, $375 billion was invested in bond funds, okay? Between 1998 and 2008, a 10-year time period, $425 billion was invested in bond funds. In one single year, almost as much money as the uh, previous 10 years have gone into bond funds. In 2010, $230 billion invested in bond funds. 2011, $136 billion was vested in bond funds. And then again, this year, so far year to date, more money is going into bond funds than the stock market. So what is with this trend and why should we be a little bit concerned? Number one, if you look in the past, historically, investors have had the tendency to rush into the, what they feel is the right place at the exact wrong time. For instance, money flowing into technology stocks right before the technology stock bubble burst. Money flowing into real estate right before the real estate market burst. And then we had all those problems with that, which we're still dealing with today. And I think that the same thing that we're seeing is money flowing into bonds. Why could bonds be so dangerous? Well, it comes down to this, is that interest rates move in the opposite direction of bonds. So if interest rates go up, bond prices go down. If bond prices go up, interest rates go down. Well, what happened last week is pretty significant. Interest rates fell to a record low last week. They've actually been falling for the past 32 years, which means bonds have really, with the exception of a couple of years, have gone up in price over the last 32 years. What you need to know is that's not sustainable. And at some point, we're, I think we really will see real problems in the bond market. And yet, you've got all of these investors rushing into bonds thinking it's a safe place to be. What you need to know, if interest rates start taking off and going up, which is the only, really one of the only places they can go, yes, they could fall lower, but I think that the probabilities are they're going to go much higher. If you're invested with bonds, the thing to do is make sure that you understand what types of bonds you're invested in, whether it's bonds or bond funds, and make sure that you understand, are these high-risk bonds or are these safe, lower-risk bond funds? It's going to pay off to know that because you might be taking a lot more risk than you think.